Hello everyone and welcome back to the gold making guide and now I'm on my druid instead of my little rogue. So hello druid! And today I want to talk about um, another little trick that you can do. It's, it's quite a small trick and it won't always be something you can do but it's something to watch out for and um, try especially when you have just taken a massive whack to the gold. Maybe you need something to kind of build it up a little bit more or if you're reasonably low on the gold total maybe you're on a new realm. Again this is another little trick to help boost you. I'm not sure if I'd use it constantly, but it is something you can do to get a little bit of quick cash, uh, or just some quick cash at all. Now, what we're going to do, basically, is we're going to use our smelting profession, and we're going to go and have a look at the auction house. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at ore, and then whether we can make money by smelting that ore into bar, and then trying to sell the bar. So, for example, let's go and have a look at ghost iron ore. You can just shift click it in the window. By the way, if you're wondering how I got this window, this is from Trade Skill Master Crafting. You can go and get that on um, Curse. Uh, Trade Skill Master is, of course, fantastic, and Trade Skill Master Crafting is a plug-in for Trade Skill Master, so you have to get Trade Skill Master for that to work. Not getting too sidetracked. Anyway, hang on a minute. Let's go back on to... Um, I, I was recently kind of talking to someone in the comments section, and they were asking me why I wasn't using Auctionator to buy, and for this... You definitely want to be using Auctionator. I just tend to automatically go to the main browse window. I don't know why, I just kind of gravitate towards it. But we're going to be using Auctionator one for this. And that's you're just going to shift click your Ghost Iron Ore in there. And then you're going to get a list of all kinds of Ghost Iron Ore. Now the main reason why we're going to be using Auctionator for this is for several reasons. And basically you want to be able to see the per item price because the stacks might be like weird and it kind of gets a little bit strange to try and calculate it. So we want to be using Auctionator for that and we also want to see what the absolute lowest price of both of the items is as Auctioneer can be a little bit weird with that sometimes. So for example we see here Ghost Iron Ore, we, there's one gold 75 silver item price and there's eight stacks of 20 at that price. Mm -mm -mm. Let's shift click the bar in and we see it's four gold and 49. Now, I'm going to show you two separate things here right now. Now, remember to see how many ghost iron ore it actually takes to create a ghost iron bar. So for this, we can see that it's, it's probably a bit profitable. You know, we might be able to make some serious cash here. And what we're going to do now is if we look at how many... I've kind of talked about this little thing before, but I want to talk about it again. If you look here, there's only 10 stacks of one at this price. And the next price is at 5 gold and 45 silver per. That is it's pretty much a gold per increase. That is quite a lot more gold that we could be making. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to buy some ghost iron ore. And we're also going to buy up this ghost iron bar. Because then we can push the price up slightly. And then sell it for even more. So let's go and buy some ghost iron ore. Scanning, scanning. There we go. And let's buy... For example, there's eight stacks of 20. I just want these eight. I don't want the other ones. The other ones start getting a bit too pricey um, for me personally. And then we can go and have a look at the Ghost Line Bar. And I want to buy these 10 stacks of one. There we go. Bye, 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 bye. And then we're going to go off onto our mailbox, collect up a whole bunch of stuff. I really need to send more gold across to this character. Poor little guy, he's practically broke. There we go. Just collect it nice and easy no problem at all and then you can either throw down a thermal anvil or you can just you know fly to a forge or something and then you can go and smelt that into ghost iron bar smelty smelt smelt and then when we're done smelting we're going to be posting that on the auction house as bar which is quite nice now another thing I want to talk about at the end of this video um, is also, I know some people have kind of messaged me saying, you know, that they try to do this and then they find that they kind of like make a lot of mistakes. It's the name of the game. If you're making gold, um, you know, in any way other than just farming or grinding stuff, you are going to make mistakes. You're sometimes you're going to lose gold. You know, sometimes you just have to cut your losses, get what you can out of that and put that money again somewhere else. That's just the way it works. So if you if you make a mistake, you lose a bit of money, don't freak out, especially if you're new to it. Make those mistakes. It happens. It's just, it's school fees. You've got to learn, right? And even when you've been doing this for like 10 years, you're still going to make mistakes because you might do something that's a bit risky and it just doesn't turn out the right way. Maybe someone starts messing with you. Something just goes wrong. It just happens. And if you think that I, for example, don't make mistakes anymore because I've been doing this, you know, for a little while, let me tell you, you are in fact mistaken because I make 
so many errors. I make huge errors sometimes. I'll make just absolutely silly decisions, or sometimes I'll make a good decision that just doesn't turn out well because something just doesn't happen. Like maybe I'll invest in something. Um, let's take, for example, Epic Pants, right? So you've got those Epic Pants um, that came out in Siege of Orgrimmar. I bought those for an exceptionally good deal, and it took me ages to sell them. Now, it turned out not really being a mistake, but it could very easily have been, because that price was plummeting. I was getting very, very close to the point where I was kind of like trying to sell it, just cut my losses, and just get whatever gold I could, because it just wasn't selling. There just weren't enough people on the server buying that stuff, and while it might have been a good deal, and it might have been a good choice to buy that stuff in the end, selling it, if I hadn't sold it, it would have been a mistake. And you know what? You just make those mistakes. Don't don't try and like hide from your mistakes. You know what? You make mistakes, you learn from your mistake. Just when you make a mistake because maybe you bought something and it just didn't turn out well, maybe you lost some gold on it. Don't never ever 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 touch that with a barge pole again. Learn from your mistake and you know learn that that could be something where you could lose a bit of gold on so maybe when you have a bit of excess gold you can go and you can kind of experiment with that and, and just kind of try and figure it out a bit more uh, you know if as long as you're learning from your mistakes it really doesn't matter in this a gold making thing you know you are going to make mistakes i make mistakes anyone who makes gold like this makes mistakes and as you're going out and farming stuff you know you're going to be making mistakes. That's just that's just how it works. I mean, if you look at outside of the game, you know, there are professionals out there. Do you think they don't make mistakes when it comes to money and other things? I mean, there's all kinds of people. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing something, you'll still make mistakes, and that's fine, as long as you learn from those mistakes. So we're going to go over to the cell tab, and I don't have that many stacks, but as you can see now, uh, we managed to buy 10 stacks of those items, that means that the price is now pushed up, and we bought the other stuff at an extremely low price, and we smelted it. So, you know, in a few minutes, it hasn't really taken us that long, and I've been talking for most of it. We've just made, you know, quite a bit of gold. Obviously, it still has to sell, but it will sell, and then we're going to make some nice moolah. So, I just thought I'd share this little tip with you. Hang on, it's four stacks of 20, and then I'll list whatever's left, probably like one stack of 14 or something. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this quick little tip and of course you can do this it's not just for ghost iron guys just because I did it with ghost iron doesn't mean that's the only thing you can do it with as I said it's just the same way it works you search what the price is for the ghost iron or, or the ore of whatever it is and then you search for the bar and make sure to calculate exactly it, how it is because for example with ghost iron ore if the ore is slightly less per ore than it is per bar it's not worth it because remember you have to double the price because it takes two ore to one bar so just be careful of that. Be very, very careful of that. It's very, very easy to lose a lot of gold because you weren't paying attention um, to how many it took to smelt into a bar. So just be quite careful with that. Just a nice warning. And then uh, go ahead and make some nice cash. Some good old cash and some money. And then you can go buy whatever it is that you want to buy. And that's it for this gold making episode. I hope you enjoyed. And I kind of want to make um, some more kind of farming ones. I haven't done those in a while. So I think the next few ones might be some like farming spots. If I can go and find some of those. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. What was that? I just heard some... Oh, that was the T-Rex roaring in my left ear. Thank you, Surround Sound. Because you just freaked me out. I thought a rocket ship was flying by. Goodbye.